Hello everyone, today I will continue with the AB drive. First we need to put our plastic parts together. So it's already marked with the writing spot of the maze. So it will come like that. And we will take this one and put two in three by 35. And one of them in here. After that we will place our again bearing stacks. Bearing stacks are shim, bearing, upside down bearing and shim. It's same with the V2. So one shim, one bearing, one upside down, another shim, left one for the A drive. We will put another bearing stack. So another shim, bearing, upside down bearing, and shim. And for the right one, we will place one spacer and bearings one bearing stack i will prepare the second one and with m3 by 30 we will secure it we will take our stepper motor and the cable will be same side on the this tooted part with m3 by 35 we will connect the motor but for putting the motor we need to put the pulley for the A part we need to install the pulley upside down and saying that there should be 8.5 mm gap between these two but for now I will just put the pulley I will do the final adjustments once the once it is installed we can access via here to align I'm not tightening the screws that much, slightly. I'm leaving slightly loose because if I tighten them, I cannot properly use the bad tension because this will act like a, this will function like a bad tension. And what will I do? I'm just leaving this slightly loose and all the, these ones also slightly loose. What will I do? I will once I route my belt, first I will adjust the pulley, the position of the pulley, then I will adjust my belt tension, then I will tighten all the screw. For now, it's A drive is ready. Okay, like this. Change my mind. I am putting the pulleys also. This one the, for the B. Since I we will place this one like this the pulley, I cannot access the uh, grub screws once they are installed. I just put a shim to create an empty space between the pulley and the motor, and I took that uh, reference. And of course, one of the grub screw will sit on the flat part of the rotor. The other one is okay. And I also applied the red thread locker. Now I will put the motor for the position of the police i will check with the belts and let's do this one i realized that i put the wrong parts together most probably that's why it's not aligning also. Now I will correct it. After that it should be okay. I corrected the parts right now. The pulleys and uh, bearings are on the right side. Now we will continue with the AB idler. All those we need these pieces. And in 3x35 we need to put one bearing stack. This is easier if you put second screw to hold the actual screw. Otherwise the screw is sliding and your bearing stack is poof. We will put these on the tray. So since they are the idler, they will be on the front. We have our preloaded nuts. Again we will load in three nuts before putting the idler. So we need four on right side of the front left frame. Now we will screw this idler 
to tap off the frame and we will get another M3 by 25 and screw them with nuts and we will do same for the other idler make sure your bearings are rotating freely while you are tightening the screws if there is a diagonal face of the idler so this diagonal face should look to the printer for AB drives we will use one of the pretet frame for the corner and this tightening screw should look inside of the printer and with one hex nuts we will tighten this so to make it easier take one nut hex nut and first align the hex nut with your screw roughly then try this one this screw which should attach the hex nut don't tighten just look is it uh, grabbed or not then tighten this threaded insert this corner screw first not fully tightened but firmly tightened then again firmly tightened this bearing uh, this second screw then do the last tightening and of course check your bearings they should rotate freely so since we are tightening them together with the screw it can be stuck we don't want that if it is stuck and tighten your screw a little bit it should rotate freely and it should form rigidly yeah we put AB drives and AB idlers of course we need to also put these another way to insert the nuts in the correct position so I want to position in this hole so I'm putting one allen key and with the other one I'm sliding until the hex nut is touching this one so once it's touched I'm uh, slightly pulling the allen key and pushing a bit and pushing this one again so now it's aligned with this one I can put the screw and tighten it Now I will tighten the properly tighten the screws, but I will only tighten where it's mounted the frame. I will not tighten the motor screws and these two. I after putting belt and tensioning my belt, I will screw the tighten these ones. Then you can check it. So. Either should. Uh, be same line with the two bearings and the pulley so. Idler and it's same line with the bearings and the pulley That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching and we will continue with the Z-axis in the next one. Thanks again for your time and see you on the next one